following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome into another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to give my video a watch and a listen. If you like it, like it. If you think other people are going to dig it, give it a share. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and you're following me on all the social media platforms. That way, if there's a band, song, video, something you want me to check out, hit me up with a DM or leave it in the comments below. If you're going to hit me with a DM, please, no spamming. If you are going to put it in the comments below, join the I Concur Army. The ICA is worldwide and growing. All you have to do is give the comments a cursory read if you see that your suggestion has already been made or... You see another suggestion that you say, wow, that's pretty cool. All you have to do is leave a like and reply with I concur. That'll help my old burnout resin-coated DJ brain get everything into a nice little organized list, put it in the handy-dandy notebook. Before we get started in today's video, I do want to say thank you to Connect 200, excuse me, Music 2C, and of course, Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's video is coming via our live stream, which we do every Wednesday and Saturday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. respectively. Central Time here in the U.S., another way to get your suggestion to me. A couple of weeks ago, Arian Lucasen, one of my favorite artists, dropped a lyric quiz. The, hey man, do you know know who I'm singing about? So I wrote down some names. I happen to be right. So I'm looking forward to checking out the song that that little quiz went to, and that's what we're checking out today. Arian Lucasen's new project, Supersonic Revolution, dropped a new track called The Glam Attack. Here we go. <clears throat> Prague 101 Hammond B3 It's that simple it, it, If you're going to make a Prague record You got to have a Hammond Thank you Booker T Making that sound popular And then British kids loving soul music Took it to a different level Just Vandenbroek. I hope I said that right. I haven't been practicing. Let me know who everybody is.
All right, there you go. Arian Lucasen's new Supersonic Revolution, The Glam Attack. A lot to unpack there in six minutes or so. So I'll try to do it and practice brevity. But for those of you that have been following my channel long enough, you know that I do know what brevity means, but I don't know how to use it. One of the reasons Arian Lucasen is one of my favorite artists, I, I like with Tuomas Holopainen, I enjoy his ability to create the perfectly measured piece. So while there is sharpness in the song, there there's sharpness, there are sharpness, there's sharp points to the song. It's a very rounded piece. It's a very full and rounded piece. And he does such a good job of opening and closing, maintaining that prog tone. Remember, Prog 101, Hammond B3. It's the Hammond. Uh, it, here's what it is. This is why I wrote it down, music history lesson. That's what I love about this guy, is that he takes you on a, on a journey of facts while singing this track. So he's talking about what is known as glam, the glam era. Most people I know who aren't gatekeepers and pretentious music snobs don't really use terms like glam. Glam metal and hair metal to most people are merely labels that others use to describe it. Because when you're fans of all of it and 65 to 85, you're going to have a very broad scope of music appreciation from people. You're going to have people that are into heavy metal who are also into synth wave who are also into postmodern punk, who are also into progressive um, glam, if you want to call it that. I don't know. I, he, he reminds me of Jeff Beck in that he never needs a band. He, he just needs musicians to create the sound that he's got in his head. And the sound that he has in his head is historic while also being 
modern because it's from him. So it's his sound. It's his sound of modernity. It is his sound of today. But everything you're hearing in there is this brightened, keyed up version of a historic sound, of a very distinctive sound that ran through the music of the 1970s. And it's it's uh, it's funny. Again, Hammond B3. The Hammond B3 exists in glam. Glam, David Bowie, Martha Hoople, uh, you know, Robin Trower, uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Yes, that logo was making me think of um, like, yes, songs, uh, Relayer, Fragile. It, it was giving me that that heavy progressive um, vibe image wise. So very well done there because it's making the connection musically. So when your image when you're painting a picture in your head, and this is what I work with in radio, is creating images through audio. When you're able to, to create an image and then match it with the sound, it's very important that it, it creates that bond with the music. So the reason the Hammond B3 exists in the, in the progressive sound, I wrote down progressive thrash because that's kind of what that is. It's progressive metal, prog metal, progressive, whatever you want to call it progressive blues, progressive psychedelia. It was all in there, okay? It was all in there. The progressive psychedelic, the blues, the the glam, the straight-up metal was all in that track. But the reason the Hammond B3 is so iconic in the progressive rock sound is because of the influence soul music has on... English and foreign artists. So when you're talking about the influences of Peter Gabriel and Genesis, Keith Emerson, when you're talking about influences of Peter Frampton, when you talk to Peter Frampton, he and David Bowie grew up together. I think Peter Frampton's dad was their music teacher or something like that. But Peter Frampton and David Bowie go back to childhood. And I don't think you can talk about progressive blues or progressive rock and not talk about Peter Frampton. They were heavily influenced by soul music, American soul music. And all of that comes out of Stax Music, Stax Records in Memphis. The house band of Stax Records was Booker T and the MGs. So a lot of the soul music that these guys grew up listening to contains that sound, that Hammond B3, that, that deep, dark, leathery, rich tone that you want in your music, in your prog, all comes from from Booker T, from Booker T and the MGs. And if you really want to study on modern music and its influences, study up on Stax and Booker T and the MG, and you'll start to make a lot of the connections that I make when I hear tracks like that. So it's very well done. Glam was a weird time because people were still, you know, freaked out by the way people looked. Alice Cooper, David Bowie, Sweet, T-Rex, Mark Boland, guys like that, they were they wore outrageous clothing. They wore the glitz and the glam, the lipstick and the face paint. But here's what's here's what's so I think beautiful about it. Style, substance, equal. So you can say they were wearing outrageous clothing. They were doing outrageous things, but they were good enough. And they were talented and brilliant enough musicians to pull it off. It wasn't until later when style became style over substance. These men were, these bands were still coming up during a time of, you better bring it. You better bring it because we don't have videos. We don't have Instagram. We don't have any of that. So your music is still going to be at the very core of your legitimacy. And the fact that they wore these outrageous clothes and, and lived this certain lifestyle, and yet they could still go out there and create just beautiful music, it's a testament to the legacy that gladly is still being carried on by people like Aryan Lucas and, and the supersonic revolution. That was well done, man. Again, it's a, it was a musical history lesson along with an introduction to the next iteration of progressive. Like I said, I wrote down prog thrash because it had all of it in there, but it was, it was very well done. Again, Aryan reminds me a lot of Jeff Beck in that people say he has many bands, but he doesn't need a band. 
he needs musicians to do certain things because in his head he has a sound and he said, okay, I need, this is what I need. So he's, he's brilliant in knowing the measure, the proper measure, the proper amounts, the proper doses, and creating a very good wide, thick, and rich color spectrum where that low Hammond B3 and his bass and the drums are creating this really cool earth foundation. And then all of a sudden the higher keys and the guitars and those really strong, good, thick, dominating rock vocals are all kind of blending together to create that wonderful, the, the lighter colors, if you will, the yellows, the greens, the blues, the sky colors and things like that. So perfect mixture. Again, I, I'm not shocked by how perfect the song is. So well done, Aryan Lucasen. Supersonic Revolution, The Glam Attack is the name of that track, and we'll be looking forward to more coming out from that band. They sound really good, so it's kind of like what the darkness wishes they were. It's kind of, <coughs> excuse me, one of the thoughts I had while listening to that. So thank you for the suggestion. Keep them coming. Again, if you have a suggestion, hit me up with a DM. Leave it in the comments below. We live stream Wednesday and Saturday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. respectively, Central Time here in the U.S., the Wild Side Live. But make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you get the notification. I usually do it about an hour out. Uh, about an hour or so out, I'll do the notification. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're following. Thank you, of course, to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for putting up with me. I'm in my final stages of recovering from the flu. So thank you very much for putting up with me. I want to try to get through these as quickly as possible to save my voice. So again, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side. <laughs>